third Nephi 26. Wow. We learn in verse 13 that Jesus spent three consecutive days with the saints in the Book of Mormon. He came, he left, he came back, he left, he came back, he left. During that time, backing up in verse 26, verse 1, he did expound all things unto them, both great and small. Verse 3, he did expound all things, even from the beginning, from Adam, until the time that he should come in his glory, the second coming. He, he, he just, Jesus just told him everything. Now, if you're going to grant me any te anything, any teaching about Jesus, it has to be this. He was a master teacher. To sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to him teach a lesson, wow, that must have been just absolutely brilliant. Sit there and just hang on his every word. Wow. Do you know there's a better teacher than Jesus in Third Nephi 26. He taught them all. He expounded small to great from beginning to end. Verse 14. And it came to pass that he did teach and minister unto the children of the multitude of whom hath been spoken. And he did loose their tongues and they did speak unto their fathers great and marvelous things even greater than he had revealed unto the people. The best teachers in 3 Nephi were the children who were allowed to speak. Wow! Now, take that back to gospel doctrine. Anytime you sit in a gospel doctrine class and all the, all the teacher does is lecture, 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 and let me tell you what I learned about this lesson, that will never be the best lesson that you could have had that day. When a Sunday school teacher or a priesthood or a young women's teacher gets up and says, I studied this so much, I gotta tell you this story and that story, and let me read the scripture, and blah 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 blah. Jesus, the master teacher of us all, taught great things, then stepped aside and said, What do you think? And the children, insert students, opened their mouths and expounded even greater things. As a teacher, the best things I learn in any class are from you, the students, the things you write, the things you say. As I'm in a face-to-face -face class, I love to have students share their experiences, and I learn and I grow from that, and it makes class much better. So the next time that we teach, let's teach like the Savior taught and invite opportunities for the class to open their mouth and to speak That'll bless all of our lives.